My name is David Simpson. I'd like to introduce my wife of 30 years, who's given me uh, seven children, and now we have uh, three grandsons. Susan, would you please wave the screen? We're, we've been grateful to serve you here in Longview and all of House District 7, Greg, and Upshur Counties, and formerly uh, Northern Smith County, and the Texas House for now, uh, this be is beginning my sixth year. It's been our joy to serve you, and uh, with your blessing and God's favor, I hope to serve you in the Texas Senate. I'm a constitutional, conservative Republican. I'm not afraid to vote alone when Republicans even leave the Constitution. The Constitution is meant to limit not you the people, but government. And that's why we swear an oath not to do what's simply popular or to get reelected, but to limit government to its proper place. And what is that? It's real small. It's simply to punish the wrongdoer. What's made Texas great and the United States great are big individuals, big families, big churches, and small civil government. As I've campaigned in all 16 counties, knocking on many, many doors, I look people in the eye and I tell them, I said, if you haven't harmed your neighbor, the government shouldn't be in the way. And I get amens. There you go. That's right. I believe that. People are fed up with politics as usual, driven by Austin and Washington. They want to be represented. They want to be left alone. And that's what I've sought to do. I've sought to represent you and to protect your individual liberties and your personal responsibility. There's a lot of debt right now. We're approaching $19 trillion in Washington. But it's not, we don't have just a spending problem in Washington. We have a spending problem in Austin. We have, we increased our spending of general revenue, the only part we really can control, by 12% this biennium. And that's why I voted against the budget. And that's on top of a previous biennium that increased spending by 10%. We have a balanced budget requirement. But it doesn't stop accounting ingenuity. We take our dedicated funds, for instance, for volunteer fire departments, and we undedicate them. I think that's worse than taxation without representation. That's taxation with misrepresentation. My name's David Simpson, and I'm not afraid to stand up, even if it means what's doing what's right, and to stand alone. Thank you for your consideration. I'd like to have your vote.